All right. All right. <laughs> Today, we are here to share with you some awesome Dollar Tree treasure that we found on some very recent trips. In fact, if you have been watching some of my recent Dollar Tree videos, you will see that this past three-day weekend, Memorial Day weekend, I went on a Dollar Tree shopping... Sa safari. Safari. It was a safari. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, does that make you the ringleader? But that's, that's the That's a circus. <laughs> it kind of was a circus. How many or, Dollar or, Trees did we hit? Or, or jewel thieves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I, <laughs> we like hit up <laughs> about four Dollar Trees. Like thieves, in and out. In and out, precision. Yes, yeah. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3 and... Bill. We are here today. We have a lot of fun stuff to share. Not only are we going to share some of the Dollar Tree treasure, which I think is pretty much the stuff that you found, and then also, much requested, Bill, guess what I have for you? What? another taste test oh. but I promise you this time I think you're gonna like it <laughs> I know I'm excited by it but I hope you'll all stick around and join us and see exactly what Bill has to show <laughs> and taste so what do you say let's go oh. This uh, uh, is Shelby approved because it's 50% more. Yes. If you're not new here, you know how much I love to see those words on a Dollar Tree product. This is the uh, this is your this is not your dad's Barbasol. Uh, this is the new and improved Barbasol. If you ask me, why? We all know what all the men know anyway that Barbasol. The bottoms rust out. You have them sitting underneath the cabinet in the oh. uh, in the bathroom, and maybe even on the counter. And these go go rusty. Oh. They change these now. These won't rust. Oh, I the did bottoms will that. not rust. I learn something new from yeah. him. I swear every single day. Maybe it's not always useful information, but it's new. I, I'm good at pub quests. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Made in the U.S. It says celebrating 100 years. I mean, this is really nice. Yeah. Brand name. And certainly anybody that has anything to shave could use this, male yep. or female. Yep. Uh, this one is extra moistening with vitamin E. And that one, I think, the, that one is the uh, thick Fragrance and rich. Fragrance free. Fragrance free. So they're, uh, they're making some changes, but you're probably still going to get the good old American uh, uh, value of Barbasol. And it actually says on the back, formulated specifically for everyone. So I bet if we looked at your grandfather's Barbasol, it would have said for men. So that's pretty cool that they just now say everyone. Because all shaving again, needs. all shaving needs. Exactly. That's a good way to put it. And it's cool. It says cruelty free on the back. Yep. Dublin, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Is where it's manufactured. So awesome score, Bill. Yep. I'm teaching him well. I have, of course, some of my absolute favorite items. I don't know what it is. I love paper of all kinds. You know that. Mm -hmm. I leave you a ton of lists, <laughs> don't I, around the house. I love to write on paper, eat off of paper, drink out of paper. So I And I recycle all those these. lists, too. That is true. So these are the paper straws. I mean, just look at how pretty these colors are. This one, actually, I can't take credit for finding this. Our son found this because he thought the grands would love it. Because look at that. It comes with a little extra something. Yeah, That's what is a that? shark. No, but what is that thing supposed here, to do? Here, I'm up? actually going to show you. So here, this is the straw. Very nostalgic paper straws, you know, when you use them on drinks with drinks. Yeah, I, I absolutely love them and I say it every time that I have no issues with them turning to mush. So look at how cute you get that. Jaws, you see yeah. that? Oh, this one surfs up. 
So it's a little extra decorative bonus for the straw. It also is oh, oh, made they're separate. out of paper. They don't, they, they're not double-sided. So, yeah, yeah, but if you didn't want to use this for the straw, you could use it for something else, like for crafting. Oh. But look at how cute. So do you see that? So then you sit oh, from yeah. your straw. Our grandkids yeah. will, the love kids will love that. that. Yeah. Little kids will love that. So, hey, I love it. I'm like fascinated with it. I love it. That is what I have to share. All right, what? Oh, Bill, this, this is one of my absolute Dollar Tree favorite products, right? Yeah. Is it getting a little bit scary how many of these we have in our house? No, because you're finding really great uses for them, let me tell you. <laughs> I know it, yeah. but it's kind of bizarre. I just keep finding more and more uses. So here, do you want to show them what it is? The watermelon, uh, what would you call this, dish rack? Uh, it, it's called a dish drying mat. Dish drying mat. Yeah, here, we use tells them, them on the, yeah. the label right Dish there. drying mat. But we use, it, we use them for all different... <laughs> I have, I think I have this right now underneath my plants. <laughs> yes. Which is great because when I go to water the plants, my hand shakes a little bit and it gets everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It, it protects the, the wood tabletop for the plants. Yep. So, I'm, I'm just laughing because I was like literally picturing myself I could sew these together <laughs> and make a sleeping mat. Oh nice. <laughs> but when I was a Girl Scout this would have been the perfect insert for a sit-upon. Do any of you remember sit-upons? What we used to do is our Girl Scout leader would get this big huge book that was samples of wallpaper and we'd each get to pick out two sheets and then you would take old National Geographics and you would with what's that like gummy twine stuff gimp yeah, yeah 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 you would so you'd punch holes around the edge of the newspaper things you'd blanket stitch it or like whip stitch I think it was called with gimp and you would sit upon it outside to keep your butt from getting cold or wet on the ground so this actually would be the perfect insert to make a sit upon I think. You know what I was thinking as well when you mentioned sewing them together to make some sort of pad mm -hmm. I was thinking if I showed up with a watermelon pad like this at a yoga class <laughs> all the other women there my age would die. They, they would. would die for this. They would. You'd have to you'd need like at least I was gonna say <laughs> she had how many across. We probably need three across. <laughs> and then I hate to imagine how many long, so it would end up being an expensive yoga mat. But yes, these dish drying mats are like no joking, one of my absolute favorite products. Put it, and I just can't put it underneath the dog's dish, it. water I, dish, food dish. I yeah. can't help because I countertops are covered with them. They're all over the floor in various places yeah. of our car. I mean, in our house, they're on the floor hot in mats. our car, too. You can on fold the back it and use it as a seat. hot mat, a real quick hot yes, mat. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, one of my absolute favorite products, and right now the Dollar Tree is exploding with so many fun prints. So, they have solid ones year-round, but right now, so many fun prints. And this, I think, is one of your favorites. I like that. The watermelon one is very li uh, lively. Yeah. 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 It looks really great uh, with my plants. It does. I agree. All right. I know we're doing a lot of talking. So why don't we just show uh, one more item, and then we'll jump to the taste test. What do you think? Sure. All right. Do you, you, want, do you want to go with this? Sure. These are freeze pops. I think mm. what's it's still called freeze pops. Yeah. But these here are the Warhead freeze pops. And uh, I know who's going to want to uh, test these out right away. I know. Yeah, we Warheads are sour. Warheads are sour. So uh, if you're thinking of frozen lemonade, think of really, really tart. It says extreme sour right on it. Mm -hmm. Extreme sour, yeah. You get 10 in the package. Watermelon, blue raspberry. That's a big kid pleaser, blue raspberry. Mm -hmm. Apple and black cherry. Freeze and eat. Ten, uh, extremely sour. I'm trying to think who, who work, who, who does this? Uh, manufactured by Gel Cert Company, Chicago, Illinois. Oh, all right. So there Gel -Cert. you go. Gel Cert. Maybe they do uh, Jello products. Favorite product 
Our grands absolutely love these. The first thing he grabs when he comes comes uh, home uh, comes here for a, a visit after school, he goes into the freezer, he pulls out a, a freeze pop. It could be uh, root beer, whatever's in there, he'll just pull it out. All right. He's and, addicted to freeze pops, yeah. especially in this weather. And you know what I see on here that's funny? I guess they, they know our grandchild because look at this. One serving per container. A serving size is 10 pops, <laughs> 190 calories. So they know, they know our grand. He's going to eat 10 of these at once if we let him. That's a deal. He would do it. You yeah. would, you're not really uh, uh, taking in the sugar if it's only uh, 190 for 10. Total sugar, 44 grams. So if you ate the entire box, but let's face it, many of us are not going to eat the whole box. They might be good. Yeah. If this was a box of <laughs> Butterfingers, I'd be eating the whole thing. You can count on that. So I thought that was a good find. I don't I remember so. which of us found this. I think actually maybe our son did. But there you go. All right. Now it is time to jump into the taste test. I'm starving. Maybe Are you not starving, a good Marvin? To do a taste test. Oh, well, we'll yes. see what we got. So this is what we have. I just hauled these yesterday or the okay. day before and asked everybody would they like to see Bill do a taste it segment, and I got a huge response of yeses. And the one they really wanted to see you taste is this flavor, the Bugles, and these are the hot buffalo. So we have the hot, hot buffalo. buffalo and we got the nacho cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both uh, from uh, 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 General Mills, General Mills product. Uh, Mini is it not Minneapolis? Yeah, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, they're about between 140 and 150 a serving, which is calories, which is uh, about one and a third cup. And uh, when it comes to sodium, we're within 100 milligrams of each other, between 330 and 430 for that uh, for that serving. Not outrageous. If you if if you're really watching your salt and sodium intake, you can you can schedule this in. It's not it's not like it's a thousand milligrams. So what do you want me to try first? Uh, either one. I just I'm sorry I was distracted because okay. I'm reading the back of this. Listen to this. Who should eat bugles? Anyone. Super moms, stay at home dads, vegetarians, cat ladies, mailmen, survivalists, unexpected guests. What is a parkour doers and attempters? Parkour, Noisy... that's when you jump from roof to roof of buildings and oh, stuff. Oh, noisy neighbors and lion tamers, teacup piglets, mermaids, two out of three art majors, <laughs> and everyone. Not to be outdone, on this one, on this one, it's uh, social mavens with big cravings, big bankers with life savings, retired unicycle clubbers, zambanistas, fashionistas, Egg beaters, frequent tweeters, four people and three seaters, nine out of ten friendly greeters, and everyone. That is really yeah, that, clever. That's yeah. cute. All this right. has been around forever, but it's, it's sort of uh, their marketing has gotten it's hit. It's really fun. Yeah. And the other thing I'm so excited is that I want to see if I can still fit them on my fingers as America's number one finger hat snack. All right, so this is the hot buffalo. Ooh, boys, that like scent came up and hit me like a uh, hot sauce. Wow, that's pretty strong smelling. Yeah. What's the nacho cheese smell like? This looks mm. like it's covered with cheese. Oh yeah. Now All this, right. this doesn't look like it's covered with anything. It looks like a regular bugle, tell you the truth. All right. This yeah. one is orange. Uh-oh, I think my fingers are Yeah, I was going to oh, say. Oh, I just split it. My I was gonna fingers say, have gotten too big. I was going to say, I don't think anyone's going to be sticking these right, on their I fingers. I split it, so can I eat it? Yeah, go ahead, taste it. That's the buffalo. Mm, can I taste mm, the buffalo? Mm, mm. Oh, ma'am. All right, this is hot. It's really hot. It is really hot. If you don't like hot... That Frank's hot sauce, that first kick you get out of the Frank's hot sauce. <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> You're sweating. Her family sweats oh with any spice. Her father would sit at the table and you'd have to towel him off after he had mm -hmm. oh, but anything then, with spice oh. in it. If it makes my face sweat, it is good. 
this is good but let me tell you if you don't like hot stuff this is like burning your tongue hot mm. oh man i've only had two um and i'm mm. telling you it tastes just like frank's hot sauce which can be found at the dollar I'm tree i believe i yeah. am sweating frank's at the at the, mm. at the dollar tree mm. sells sells a lot of them but the original one was frank's that's what we bought ours right Woo. All right, I gotta see if I can cool my okay. mouth down with this. Is the nacho yeah. cheese one? This one's Covered, real orange. Yeah, real orange. Covered in uh, nacho cheese uh, dust. I'm going with the other side of my mouth here. These are good. Mm -hmm. In fact, what you want to do is you want to eat those first, yeah. get them nice and hot, and yeah. then put the cheese in. It's sort of like mm -hmm. it's like nacho cheese with jalapenos. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mmm. I could make a supper out of this. I love these. The only thing I'm a little disappointed is, I, how come I remember when I was a kid that you could like fit Put these on all fingers. on your fingers? Yeah. See this one here, uh, but a lot it looks of like them, it's formed that way, you know, they yeah, sort of bake that I don't way. No, a lot of them are way too yeah. skinny. Very salty though. Even though it's about 330, 430 milligrams for an entire uh, one and a third so, cups. So to me, they've kind of changed in shape. When we were a no, kid, you can put them on your the fingers. cone was much more like uniform also. These are all very different. Oh no, I thought I was eating the nacho cheese. Oh no. Mm, it's so hot. Let me switch. Oh good. So my advice is, Take a buffalo, put it in your mouth, and then immediately put in a nacho cheese one and go to town. Excellent. I'm burning it up. I'm going to have to get a towel. I'm I'm burning up. <laughs> he would drip. Her father would drip. I'm doing the same thing. The back, it's the sweat's running down the my back of my neck now already. And I would Woo. say, Dad, it's just scrambled eggs. <laughs> These are really good. Mm. All right. Well, I don't think everybody wants to sit here and, and watch, watch you me. perspire. <laughs> well, I was gonna say like stuff a bag of beer <laughs> and perspire down my throat. Woo. So thank you everybody for joining us today. We will be back again very soon with more Dollar Tree fun. And remember, as always, everybody, until next time, please be well. Be well.